Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms. And I kind of covered what I'm doing today with this trench in depth in yesterday's video, but I'll give the quickest version of it I can. These trenches were dug for footings, and I've decided not to do a traditional footing because of the cost. Even if I did all the concrete myself, it was still gonna be pretty expensive. And I've got a major issue with these trenches holding water basically ever since we dug them. So what we're gonna do instead is use the giant construction type concrete blocks that weigh about 4,000 pounds a piece. They're two foot tall, two foot wide, six foot long. And we're gonna line those up and use them as our foundation for the new building. But to set those blocks in, we need to not only fill the trench, but we need to have it fully compacted and leveled out. And that's what I'm starting on today. As you can see, I'm scooping up some of the clay from where we dug out the pond and using that as the first layer to fill in the trenches. Now the first section of trench went exactly according to plan, but I had a lot more issues with the other sides. But we'll get to that as we go along. I did end up using quite a bit of the dirt from down by the pond, but I remembered we left this pile here for a specific reason, and we aren't going to need it. Once we're done filling in these trenches, I've got a lot of work left to do over on this run out because we never really finished it. I don't just mean getting it smoothed out and graded a little bit better, but also this is clay across the whole thing and you can see to the right side of the screen we had a pile of topsoil we saved so that we could grow grass over here. I was surprised that one scoop of dirt filled up each section as much as it did, but we are still going to compact that down. Now, the next step is to rake all that out smooth enough that I can get the plate compactor and run down the trench, and I'm too lazy for all that, so I got a, a younger back out here to help me smooth this out enough that we can level it. You ready, Cooper? We're ready. Ready. Let's get in there. Well, I've really never tried to do anything exactly like this. I'm not sure how it's going to work. But I was told you want to compact every 6 inch layer. And this has probably had 8 to 10 inches added to it. Might compact down to 6. But I think that worked out just about right so that I can fill it in now with rock and be back up to ground level. So let me fire up the compactor. Yesterday was my first time using this. 
But what I found is it walks itself along pretty easy. So rather than try to use the tractor, these grab handles to move it, I'm gonna see if I can start it up and just drive it over there because honestly, everything between this building and that one needs compacted anyway. So choke on. Fuel on. Big fire up. I've got my concerns how well this is going to work with how wet it is underneath. But there's only one way to find out and I need to find a way to get this done. The instructions say not to run this at full throttle until it has three hours of use on it and I've only probably ran it an hour so I'm still not at full throttle. Right now I'm just letting it idle a little more to help break it in. What I'm going to do is leave that sitting there idling and I'm going to work on manually smoothing some of this out. Right now it's got higher spots on one side than the other. Kind of smooth that out so it will be flat when it's compacted. To this point this morning, this project's going better than I expected. I didn't remember saying better than expected, but I'm pretty sure that's what put the jinx on the rest of the day. Yeah, I've recruited a full-time helper for the rest of this project because it's going to be kind of time-consuming if I do it all myself, and I want to get all four of these holes filled in before the end of the day, and I just had to stop and deal with some customer service issues on my main business. So basically, what we've got is after we compact it, it's packed down, but then it's not perfectly level, it's got high spots and low spots. So, what I would say, Cooper, is instead of trying to, you know, dig out some of this, right. like where the low spots are, this stuff's loose and can just be knocked off with the shovel right. into the low spots. Oh, definitely. How much do you want it? Do you want like an inch or two lighter? No, just, just like, you, you say, okay, here's a low spot. Just put like two shovels of dirt in there and okay. I'll go over it again and just follow me and look for where the low spots are and then we're about to start filling in the other side. We'll put rock in this next. This is almost good enough. This right. layer does not have to be perfect because it's getting the rock layer on top of it. But I didn't want it to be too wavy. You know, just go down it back one more time then we'll start with the rock. We want this after it's compacted right. to be a hundred percent full, if not just slightly over full. Right. So that's all the spreading right there. That 
after each scoop, just do what I just did with the rake. Okay. I'm not sure why at this point of the job I wasn't doing a better job of back dragging with the bucket so that Cooper had less to rake. By the end of the day, he was barely touching it when I dumped it in. So at this point, running over that was really just uh, proof of concept. I just wanted to see kind of what would happen. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish filling the rest of this in and getting it raked out. Once we get it all to this point, we'll have to get out of transit level and look at what's happening. So back on the tractor. Check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back. All right, this is not perfect. It's not ready for the block or anything, but it's good enough that we can move on to the other three sides. If we can get all four sides of this to this point today, then I can continue to work it. What I don't want is for these trenches to fill with rain again or for the center pad that's flattened out to get so wet and muddy that we can't get in here to work. So we're gonna move on to the next section. We spent all day on this project, and as I was recording it, and even halfway through editing the footage, I was planning to make one video out of this, but it was just too much. The rest of this trench had so much standing water, there was no way we could just fill it up, and we went through a lot of struggles with getting the water pumped out and getting the bottom dried, and just had to make a second video out of it so i hope you'll come back tomorrow and watch the rest of this project but i really appreciate you taking time to watch this video you should see a couple more of our videos on the screen right now so check those out and i'll see you next time